What's up guys, Ryan Knows Tech here with techinform.us and today we're going to talk about the differences by request of a solid state drive and a traditional drive that looks something like this. Now I'm not going to attempt to stick this up to the camera, I'm actually just going to take a picture of it and plop it on my desktop here in a second so you can take a look at it. These hard drives have been around for a long time. Uh, essentially it's a plastic case with uh, every hard drive is different, this one has I think it's like a 40 gig or a 20 gig. This one only has two of these things that look like mini CDs inside of them. And the thing that looks like a mini CD, that's where the data is physically written. This hand moves over these disks, writing the data. You'll notice if you pull the hand away from the disk, you can see in there, and there's a, it's kind of like a sandwich of hands that, that then go in between the disk and read and write and erase or whatever you're gonna do with the data. Obviously this hard drive is trashed, that's why I can scrape it around like this. You'd never wanna take one apart this far. Uh, the rest of this is essentially just a motor um, way to direct the data. You can see this connection, all these pins that would be IDE, uh, actually EIDE this one is, that's an enhanced IDE, I don't know what IDE stands for. Other drives, I uh, don't have one out of a computer that I have right here, but there's SATA, Serial ATA, there's PATA, PATA, I don't know what the P is. Um, they're all different. If you're looking at most laptops today, they're going to come with a SATA drive, a serial ATA. That's pretty standard. It doesn't have all these pins. It's usually just one or two cables. I think ThinkPads have three, since you have that motion sensor thing in it that recognizes when you tilt a machine. Um, most drives are like this, and they have an RPM speed. RPM is rotations or revolutions per minute. Uh, and hard drives would probably be rotations per minute. This one I think is a 4200 RPM, meaning this disk can spin a maximum of 4200 times. The faster the disk, the quicker it can read and write with that hand moving, or that hand or arm moving over it. The faster the disk, the uh, more vulnerable it is to failure. You know, the more uh, power it takes, the more energy it takes. Um, the more there is to go wrong, essentially. The size of the disk, well, that doesn't much matter as far as sizes and gigabytes. Um, this one has two little disks, whatever they're called uh, in terms of technology. It has two disks in here. You know, you can't justify space by the number of disks. These can range in both physical size and capacity. Um, problems with these. They take a lot of power because there's moving parts in here. They get hot, and there's moving parts, and uh, they're vulnerable to failure. If I drop it like that, you drop your computer, you put your computer down, you pick it up, you move it around. Over time, these things wear, the hand may not work anymore, the discs may not work, the motor burns up, dies, whatever. There's a lot, a lot of problems that can happen with a, a traditional drive. And that's why slowly hard drives are, are uh, transitioning to solid state. And here's the deal with solid state. I do not own a solid state drive yet. So I'm going to use this stick of RAM. This is 512 megs of DDR2 Hynix RAM. Anybody want it? Got lots of it. Um, solid state is essentially RAM. There are no moving parts. Everything is digital on a board. Each one of these things, this is just RAM. Obviously there's, you know, it's not a hard drive. It's similar, but it isn't. Each one of these little things here, each one of those chips is a set amount of memory. This one, uh, it says on there, but it's pretty small, so I'm not going to read it. But you've got four on one side and four on the other. So you've got high density and low density. With solid state disks, there are no moving parts does not get as hot, uses much less power, and uh, most likely it won't break if you throw it up and uh, it lands about four or five, six feet down on the ground. So this is where it's going. Why is it so expensive? The technology's new, and making flash memory in, in amounts as large as, you know, a terabyte, like the disk I have on my desk right now that well, isn't solid state, but it just costs a lot more. But slowly, price comes down, speed goes up. Let's talk about that now, performance. I did a comparison on my old technology channel of a MacBook Air with the solid state drive and with the, with the physical drive. And honestly, there was really no difference. Booting, opening applications, doing uh, intense disk work with editing or stuff like that, there was no difference. Um, with newer hard drives, performance is a little better, but with newer solid state drives, performance is even better. So without a question, down the road, yes, performance is going to be much better in solid state, uses less power, it's just a better way of doing things. So are you, uh, is now a good time to upgrade or buy a computer that has solid state? 
Yes and no. Yes, it's going to be fast. Uh, you're up with the times. But in three to four years, that solid state disk is going to be like early hard drives, very low RPM, high failure rate, and compared to the newer stuff that will be out several years from now. So it's a mixed bag. Do you do it? Yes, no, maybe. Um, as far as Macs go, that's, you know, that's my deal. Macs are very expensive to get solid state drives in. Um, Apple in general is expensive to do anything. But you can pick them up on eBay, you can pick them up on OWC, Other World Computing, they have cheaper drives. If you're gonna do it, you might as well. I think it'd be fun to play with it. But of course, you're gonna be better a year or two down the road. Um, my next laptop will probably be a 15 inch MacBook Pro Core i7, hopefully a Core i7, maybe an i5. Will it have solid state? Probably not. Not until it begins to come standard and default or only the cheaper machines have it will I upgrade. But there you go, there. that's the difference. Solid state is better, not necessarily in terms of performance yet. Um, really depends on the two pieces of physical hardware. It's like a car, you know, you need two cars and every car is different, every hard drive is different, every system is different. So leave a comment with your thoughts on solid state versus uh, traditional disk garbage. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching today's video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. My personal Twitter account is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Our website, our technology blog is techinform.us. These links are down below. And then be sure to catch us live every Tuesday, that's tomorrow night from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. Thanks guys. Leave a comment and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.